Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to fix issues with the chest UI and uh, some other issues that we have with the UIs in general. So I'm gonna give you the first uh, possibility first uh, so you can choose which one you want. If you want only to get the chest UI removed then I guess this first solution will be best for you and the other solution will work for all of the UIs. So, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the BP chest in the viewport and over here I'm going to add a new component of a sphere collision and I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger like so and now in the event graph I'm going to scroll down this sphere properties and I'm going to add a on component and overlap event and as uh, other actor I'm going to do a cast to third person character like so and over here we are going to do a clear HUD event like so and now if we compile and save so now if we go to our chest open it up and just simply walk away you can see that the UI disappears so that's solution number one but I'm going to use a different solution because I don't really like this solution so I'm going to delete this sphere box for me and in the event graph I'm gonna remove this event so what I'm gonna do is in the third person character I'm going to add a new variable and I'm gonna call this is is UI open. I'm gonna drag this to user interface variables and over here I'm going to go to the create build menu UI and I'm gonna add this set is UI open to true and I'm gonna do this for all of our UI functions so that we would know that our UI is open so the chest UI and yeah only three of these so build inventory and chest UIs and for the create HUD UI I'm gonna set at the end this to false since we are closing it when we are creating our HUD so the next thing what I'm gonna do is in the event graph where we have our movements I'm going to add a if branch to all of these so gamepad and if branch to see if the UI is open and if the UI is open we are going to forbid the character to move but if it's not open then we are allowing this character to be moved and same goes for this one over here as well like so and I might just copy these nodes and I'm gonna copy these over here as well to the mouse movement like so false goes in the add movement input here as well and now in the mouse input it should look something like this and another one for our jump so if we are oh, have an UI open then we are not allowed to jump as well there we go so now if we compile and save let's test this out press I let's open up the inventory and now we can not move as long as we have our inventory open but if we close it then we can move again freely so that's a fix number two which I find uh, a better solution so now let's fix the issue with the chest not being closed um, if we interact with this too fast if we close it too fast before it has opened so I'm gonna go to the BP chest and inside of here I'm going to add a new variable and I'm gonna call this close um, close me yeah 
seems good and here in the open chest I'm going to do a if branch check to see if this close me is set to true if this is set to false then we can proceed with this uh, opening function but if this is set to true then we need to do the close chest event in this one and after this close event uh, has finished over here where we are setting that chest is closed we need to set this to false as well like so so that should be it for the chest and now in the third person uh, blueprint I'm going to use the same key key E to open and close the chest you can use different keys if you like so I'm going to do a if branch check over here to see if we have a chest opened so is chest open if it's not open then we can proceed with the line trace by channel but if this is open then we are going to run a event and for this we need to create a new custom event so I'm going to add a custom event and I'm gonna call this server close chest and of course we need to run this on server and for this event I'm going to add a input and this input is going to be I'm gonna call this chest and this needs to be an actor type and from here we are going to cast to BP chest using object as this chest and as BP chest we need to set close me and we need to set this to true like so and after this we need to do open something message open something message and the target is this BP chest so this is the custom event so I'm gonna move this aside even more and over here so is this is just open and if it is open then we are running this so server close chest and the chest needs to be I'm gonna use the hit actor from over here so this is going to contain the last actor that we have hit and it should be the chest if the chest is open that means that we are interacting with this right now so it should be still in the memory and after this we are going to do a clear HUD to recreate our UI so if we would compile and save go to the game let's go to the chest press E the chest is opening press E and the chest is closing like it's supposed to let's wait till it opens fully and now it closes as well so that's working great so this is going to be it for this video so this was a request from a viewer one person wanted to uh, see a storage being created so this is how I would create a storage if you have any more suggestions ideas uh, what you want me to create more then leave a comment down below and I will get to this as soon as I can also in the waiting list I have more weapons and they are going to come in the following videos and I'm going to add bows, uh, bows pistols and uh, maybe a rifle as well so Stay tuned and see you guys in the next tutorial.